Titrations may be used to determine the concentration of an analyte in a solution. And a titrant has a known concentration of a species that reacts with the analyte. So defining the molarity of the analyte and the molarity of the titrant, the burette releases the titrant slowly and it drops in the solution until it's neutralized. And that's indicated by a color change where there's a color indicator in the solution. And the color change indicates the equivalence point or end point of the titration where the analyte's completely consumed by the reactant species in the titrant. So for example, when sulfuric acid which is a strong acid and the analyte is neutralized by a strong base sodium hydroxide, which is the titrant. It becomes neutral when the pH is 7. And the concept for a redox reaction is similar, but the potential of the reaction is measured instead, as we'll see later on. So we started off with some initial volume of the titrant and ended up with some volume after the color change. So therefore we can calculate the volume of the titrant in the solution, which is the volume lost from the burette. And the molarity of the titrant is known. So from this you can calculate the number of moles of the titrant in the solution, and then use the mole ratios in this reaction to calculate the number of moles of the analyte, and then we knew the initial volume of the analyte, so you can calculate the molar concentration of the analyte. And that's a basic idea behind titration.